Yo, good morning. Daily routine, about that time. Gym flow. I figured I'd answer the question while I'm on my way. No better time. No better time than now when y'all ride with me. Alright, here we go. Got the question and we had a like, so this is perfect. <clears throat> shout out Val.Wave. I think that's it. Val.Wave. Shout out for the question. Thank you for chiming in and, and shooting me a, a, a question and chatting with your boy. He said, what's good, bro? What is the best way to make m- more music and not get stuck? Time limits or certain other techniques you found over the years of how to be more productive? Bow that way. So basically, he wants to be more productive and he's interested in how I... Um, how I'm productive, how I, how I have taught myself to be more productive over the years. So, um, that's a really good question because there's many challenges and things I put myself through to, to, uh, to make more tracks and make more music. Fortunately, I've been doing a lot of productions and a lot of songwriting. So I haven't been able to sit and just make tracks like I would love to. So when I do get that time, you know, sometimes I say three a day, that'll be my goal. Three or three keepable tracks, because I probably trash at least two when I'm trying to find my when I'm trying to find my groove. Um, I say make challenges for yourself, man. Like, you know, tell yourself for this month I want, you know, I wanna do fifty tracks this month. I wanna do a hundred tracks this month. Um, try to create. Sometimes it's difficult to go in and just create off the top if you don't have a target. So give yourself a target. Meaning, is there an artist or is there someone you want to work with or someone you just have a vision for, and um, start creating for them? Or is there a genre? Is there some? Like, I hate when to to just go in the studio and just, I'm kind of, for no reason. Like, I have to have a reason to to sit down and start uh, putting different stuff together. Like, you know, whether I'm experimenting or something, I just have to have a goal. So, I I would say create a goal. Um... I mean, there's many ways that I've that I've done this and I've gone through this. Like I can't even I can't even tell you how many times I've got myself out of that type of rut and wanted to be more productive. But <clears throat> more than anything, I just push myself. I push through the block. I push through whatever, and I just sit down and I'm going to create. I'm going to create. I'm going to accomplish some music today and. Uh, Hopefully, I come away with something dope that will inspire me. Because once that, once I, once I crack that thing that's in my head that's holding me back, I'm gone. Because from that point, I'm inspired by myself. You know, I'm rejuvenated when I when I create something that I feel like is crazy, and it gives me an idea, and it just leads me down a wormhole. Um, so, in short, I would say create some goals man like you know maybe five tracks in under five minutes I've done that I put a timer up and just see how fast I can do it shouldn't be about time because it's still art but sometimes we we just gotta get things excuse me get things out just get it out no matter how terrible it might be or how great it might be just get it out move on get it out move on it's like sketches Draw a sketch, come back to it later, see if it's worth it. Like I, the way I highlight my tracks is, if I have a good idea, I put a green highlight. If it's a trash idea, it's a gray highlight. And then from there, I know when I go back over my tracks, what's actually was worth me opening up the session and actually touching again. So, you know, I would say spend less time um, and just go at it and spit stuff out. Just spit it out, blurt it out, and take it from there. You can go back and perfect it later. The world isn't going to hear it right then. I have more trash, <laughs> believe it or not, than um, 
than what you might think. It's just the world is never going to hit at. So I, free jewelry, 